Hi, this is Kevin with Matt Practical. Um, we're just going to check out graphic styles real quick. So I already have graphic styles palette open, but it's obviously up here under window graphic styles. Uh, so I'm just going to draw a quick line. I'm going to use my line tool and hold down shift. That'll make it a nice straight line. And it's just a plain straight line. The nice thing is you can go over in the appearance palette and really make some changes without having to go to all these other stroke palettes. Uh, Illustrator has many ways to do the same thing, but it's nice they've added this in CS5. So I'm just going to add another stroke here. Um, I'm going to make the bottom one nice fat, say six point. And then I'm going to go up to my first stroke and make it yellow. And uh, there you go. We've kind of got this divided highway look now. So it's really simple for me just to select that. Go back to my graphic styles palette here in the drop down over in the corner. New graphic style. And just name it. Divided highway. Click enter, and now I have a graphic style called Divided Highway here. I have a couple other. I have a freeway style. Instantly it changes it to a freeway. Um, if I select it, I can also do my cased road. So there's a cased road style. And what's really nice is then I can, of course, uh, any stroke that I have drawn and um, selected, I can apply styles globally to all of them at once. So there's my cased road, my freeway style. My divided highway. You have to wait for another interview or uh, interview, <laughs> another uh, video to show you how to get rid of this uh, chopped up look like that. Anyhow, um, the nice thing though is that if I want to make changes, so let's take this back to divided highway, and uh, let's turn everything. Everything is divided highway. So I can go over here to the appearance palette and say, mm, I want this to be dashed. So I just clicked on stroke in the appearance palette, check the dash. And uh, I can set my dash and my gap here. And now it's changed the actual graphic style. If I go to the drop down under appearance and say redefine graphic style divided highway, now you see it just redefined it for all the uh, in, or objects that were on the artboard that had that graphic style applied. So it's really handy for making global changes. And obviously, you can do this for polygons as well. I could just draw a quick little polygon here and hit lake style and now it's the lake. So if I had multiple ones, say I had a bunch of little lakes here and there and all around, I could just select one of them and say, mm, I think I want to have a thinner stroke on the outside. It's kind of counterintuitive that the redefine is under appearance instead of under graphic styles, but that's where it is. Redefine lake styles and now they're all changed. Oh, that's interesting. Why didn't these change? They should have changed as well. Oh, because they're not actually lake styles. That's why. There we go. Okay. So one thing to be aware of is you want to apply these styles to actual objects on the uh, on the artboard. You don't want to do it globally. So let's say I took all of layer two, so that's everything, and I assigned it the freeway style. Um, now I can't go in and change this and say I want it to be the divided highway or cased road because it's assigned to the entire layer. So if you accidentally make that mistake, you have to click on the entire layer, go to Appearance, go to the drop-down, and say Clear Appearance, or Reduce to Basic Appearance. Either one, I'll do Clear. And now all those are gone, and we're back to where we can uh, highlight individual elements and change their style. OK, well, that's a quick one on graphic styles. They're really handy. I suggest you start building yourself a full set of them. Uh, this is Matt Practical. We'll see you soon.